Okay, guys, this right here is the ceiling of the stairs that go downstairs. I was attempting to build us a closet for our master bedroom when I discovered this problem. At the time, whenever I realized that this was a problem, I went ahead and I framed it in anyways and drywalled it because I figured I could make it work for something. I used flooring up here to seal this up. I used MDF and closed in the wall. After a few years of it just being a hole in the wall that we just kind of threw stuff in, I started having ideas. Started thinking about how it could be a built-in dresser. So I made a sample. Okay, so here it is. Um, I got the framing all done. I'm just kind of, this isn't, you know, it doesn't go like that. <clears throat> Get that out of the way. Um, I was trying to figure out where my board was going to end and how much board I needed to buy and all that stuff. But... We got the framing, we got it all boxed up. Um, I had these holes, so I had to frame some stuff in here. We're putting these boards on, which is the same stuff as this. So this will all just kind of wrap down around. You know, I'm gonna sand this real good around here on these edges. I'm gonna palm sand them real good, get them nice and smooth. But that's what I'm kind of building right now. Uh, I went and I bought, there's going to be a top board that's going to be stainable that's going to go up here. This I still have to figure out where I'm going to put it, but it's going to go like that. It's going to split oh, two drawers up there, one drawer, one drawer, one drawer. And then we're going to frame some stuff in around it. But I ordered slides for the drawer. They're going to bolt in here. They're going to be slides. They, weigh like, they, they hold 100 pounds of weight. So each drawer will be able to hold 100 pounds of weight. Probably a little excessive. So I have to, in here for instance, this is going to go here, let's say, but i got to cut this all off right here. So I had to get a jigsaw to cut because this, what I was cutting here, it sucked. The jigsaw blade that I had was terrible. And luckily I got tons of wood left to sand to sort of fix that. Now I'm not going to see any of this when it's all said and done. Once the drawers are in, the faces are going to actually overlap. So when you shut it, you're not going to see any of this. Um, it'll kind of all be in. But when you open the drawer, you'll see it all. And I want to just kind of clean it up. I uh, got a lot of it done here. I put all the boards on everywhere these are a pain you gotta cut down each hole and these little pieces glue them on and i gotta sand all this stuff now all this edge i'm gonna sand these darker faced ones i'm gonna sand them a little bit and wipe them down real good i think they're dirty but i don't know there it is for now i still got trim to do i still got drawers to build i still got faces of the drawers to do once i get the slides then i can start building drawers because i don't know what the you know the dimensions need to be with the slides in i think it's at a half of an inch on each side but i'm not positive so i just want to wait till i get the slides before i start building any of that i can get the stop board in i can get this all stained i can get this all stained um Basically, I can put up my trim that's going to go up and around this. I can do all that. I'm going to put quarter round where my, my top board's going to sit. It's going to overhang probably an inch or so, something like that. And I'm going to put quarter round underneath here just to kind of seam that all together up there. But I'm going to put base up too. I didn't I left that piece of base out whenever we redid this room just because I knew I was doing all this and I didn't know what was gonna exactly happen there so I left that piece of base out but now I can put it on paint it and put it all on and get it all done and I'm gonna repaint this wall I think we still have this paint but I'm not a hundred percent sure I hope we do
is it's all stained up all done just got to do some painting I uh, just did caulking on the trim down there that's all done just gonna paint repaint that wall repaint up the edge there and uh, build my drawers it's almost done what's up guys little update here working on these drawers um, for the the build-in uh, basically I mean there they are it turned out really nice I got you know five drawers this one's a pretty big one right here I got two small ones another one is just a little bit smaller and then the little guy but uh, this is what is going into the uh, build-in we made them last night here use some uh, eighth inch laminate plywood on the bottom um, this this side this is actually glued boards that's glued together it's supposed to make it a little bit better so it doesn't cup and bow and twist and stuff and then today I just did it just now I actually routed this edge you can see how this side's square and this side's rounded and I routed the outer of all the drawers so just a little bit of an accent and then uh, the face this isn't actually gonna be my face this is just the drawer once I put the drawer in the hole I'm gonna actually screw a board onto this which will all be routed and that'll be my face with my handle and stuff but I'll show you that whenever I get to it but right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my palm sander I'm gonna sand these edges here on this side and I'm gonna sand them up real good and basically remove all this glue and whatever just, just sand them down a little bit I'm just gonna do both sides of all the drawers so there it is the drawers um, pretty big and then when you push them shut they automatically close what's up guys all right so uh, basically what I did is I'm making these boards here I routed the uh, the end I put sort of a nice design on it this is actually gonna be my drawer face that's what I'm gonna uh, attach to my drawers here got all my sizes here ready to go it's coming along Hey, what's up guys? All right, so here's another update on the uh, drawers that we're working on. Um, we pulled them back out and we stained them here last night. So now you had to wait eight hours till the uh, stain went dry enough to be able to put the clear on. I put a coat, one single coat of this uh, polyurethane on last night. So I'm going to hit it with some sandpaper here. We're going to throw a second coat on it because, as you can tell, it, it just absorbed into the wood for the first coat. I just stuck a really, really thick coat on. I literally poured it on and kind of used the thing as a squeegee. And it's supposed to be self-leveling, so... But they have a heck of a shine to them now. See how shiny they are? It should look good. They turned out real nice. So hopefully that'll be the last coat I need of that. We just got to dry for 12 hours. All right, so here is the finished product. Turned out pretty good.